I'm a volunteer with the Afghan Refugee Relief and and we wanted to do something for the Afghan refugees. I am from Afghanistan myself. I was born there. So, and I once used to be a refugee, so I know how it feels to be a refugee in a foreign land. And culturally for us, you don't go to the dentist or a medical doctor unless something is hurting. So I realized that these, you know, with the dental background and my own cultural background, I uh, realized that it would be nice to put something together for these families and I contacted Dr. Hurlbut and I honestly did not think that we would be here but it's, um, it's an amazing turnout. There's about 92 patients here, all refugees, um, all ages, children, toddlers, grown-ups, you know, elderly folks. They've been here since September of last year when they were evacuated from Afghanistan. Most of them are been working with U.S. Army or they work for uh, U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan or some private U.S. companies that, you know, if they go back, it's dangerous for them. I've been here for almost 30 years. This is my second home. I love it here. But still, sometimes I miss home. But, you know, for these families, safety is very important. They feel safe here. There's opportunity, they can go to school, they can work, they, they can have a future, yeah. We have four clinics right now going on with the senior and junior clinic uh, students helping us. What the students here are getting, it's, it's, it's amazing because they're able to teach dental hygiene, oral hygiene instructions, uh, not through the same exact words that they've learned, but they have to lower uh, their verbiage a lot to be able to get the word across because the volunteers here are not from the dental background like myself. So it's even more difficult to explain to them what a cavity is or how they should be flossing. The educating the children more so than the adults, I got to like, after explaining everything to them and teaching them, they like said it back to me. So it felt like good knowing that, okay, hey, they're actually understanding and I'm not just like throwing words at them, they're retaining what I'm saying to them. Every single one is of these patients that were here today, they've been so grateful for the care that they received here. And some of them already made appointments to come back. And I hear more that there's more families that have uh, been saying, well, why didn't I, why wasn't I included? I wanted to come here. Providing services for the community, this is what West Coast is all about, like community outreach. Um, the fact that our clinics have always been free of charge. Everything we do is free of charge here and providing that for the newcomers, for our new neighbors is anything, I mean I could not have asked for anything more than this.